let's jump on this for hidden coins hidden blue coins and if we get all the coins we'll get this neat little clap which you'll probably have heard right there and yes coins turn into blocks etc etc now let's hopefully triple jump okay I failed the triple jump but you can triple jump in this game like the DS version Right, only one world left for World 1, and that's... Larry's Castle! And that Goomba's appeared again. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you can't be bothered to fight enemies on the map, and there's a bunch of them that you can't be bothered to do, go into your items and get a star. I won't, like, show an example now, but... Go to the star and use it. Then, when you bump into an enemy, you'll instantly kill it. You won't get three mushrooms for it, but if you're not in the mood to fight enemies, then you can do just that. And now we got four giant Goombas. Or, well, up to the point giant Goombas. Plenty of one-up opportunities, but I'm not going to bother with them. Actually, why not? Uh, ah, yeah, I screwed it up. I knew my small screen wouldn't let me do that. I was close, though. And Toad, thank you for the three mushies. It's weird. I've heard from other sites that people really didn't like Toad, well, Blue Toad and Yellow Toad being playable characters. I don't know why. There's Toad. I know they were annoying back in Super Mario Bros. But back in the Super Mario Bros. days, but they're making up for it now. Can't you be thankful just for that? Anyway, first castle, pretty basic, but. As you kn as you'll probably know already, as soon as we reach the end of the castle, we'll be fa we will be facing Larry Cooper again, but with a slight twist. I'll explain when we get there. Let's jump up here, and I think if we jump up here or any oh okay, if we if we do jump on some of the cogs, we'll we'll be sent to secret areas. None of the star coins will be there, but you will get like uh, hidden one ups. I think this is the cog right here. I'm not going to risk it though, because I could easily die of this current setup. There's another ice flower for destroying this dry bones. Ah, I hit myself. Ah, stupid desk getting in the way. Well, maybe this is the maybe this is the cog. Let's find out. Is it? Is it? Mm, yes, it is. And. God knows how, we just end up here with a bunch of coins and yep, propeller suit. We will eventually reach a point where if you don't have a propeller suit there will be propeller blocks. You carry the block and then you check the remotes, etc etc etc. On that note, in multiplayer if you pick up someone who has a propeller suit and shake then you can use the propeller suit effect, much like if you had a propeller block. There's a one up over there and there's probably a one up over here. Whoop! Yes. Moving on swiftly. Hopefully, I'll be able to reach the rest of the w the rest of the way without um without reaching 15 minutes. Oh, I'm back here. I always thought that we'd have to go. I'd have to go up that pipe when I first played this game. But now I know better. And I think we just went backwards. Yes, we did. Checkpoints, and unlike in the DS version, Dwarps cannot can no longer destroy question mark blocks. They can destroy particular blocks though. Like, oh, that's not this, but they can destroy particular blocks. Oh crap! <laughs> Didn't notice the fire flower. I mean, fire flower. ice flower. Oh, yeah, these blocks, and only these giant Dwarps can get rid of them. Thank you, Dwarp. I'm gonna stay down here now in case you you squash me. Don't worry, they are not instant death if you're new to this game, but they will help. They will uh, hurt you. They're not instant death though, which is the most important thing. Another red wing. I'm gonna have to get ready to dash for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, crud. And yes, if you're fully powered and you don't need any like items, then you will get a one-up instead. 
That was close. I thought I was going to get hit there. Let's not fall into the lava. Ah, just made that worse for myself, really. Pick them up, and you can die. Let's keep moving! Die! Third star coin is around here somewhere, I swear. If I miss it, I do not give a crap. Oh, there it is. I believe it's via that pipe. Yes, it is. Let's just steadily run down. Oh, and even though that pipe is in lava, we will not be going into lava. And if you don't know how to wall jump, you might as well just give up now and go up the yellow pipe. Thankfully, though, I do. So let's quickly dash and wall jump into the third star coin. And that's it. That's all the star coins of World 1. But I'm not going to be trying to get all of them for the rest of the world. I'm just going to be searching for them. Oh, item right there. I'm just going to be searching for them. I'm not. I'm not going to be searching for them. That's my main point. So if I pass one, I'm not going to go get it. I'm not going to go back to get it. This is not a 100% let's play because there are plenty of those already. Like uh, we like to play or to pray or uh, Skyro 90. They are currently doing 100% let's plays of the game. Yes, there's Kemet, the annoying bastard from Yoshi's Island. And now, in every second fight, he'll, he'll do something to make things interesting. So in this world, he will make the floors move, which is actually not that big a deal, because Larry's just as easy as he was in the first, in the tower. And I mistimed his jump. I mistimed that jump. Pretty much most of the Koopalings will do pretty much the same thing. The only real difference will be, um, uh, the light, like, the real difference won't really be them. They'll do the same attack pattern, it's just what's happening around you that'll make a difference. So there, the floor changed. Uh, the only real Koopa, or Koopaling rather, who changes their pattern in the second, um, in the second fight is Iggy Koopa, the, the uh, craziest of the Koopalings. And there's Bowser Jr. flying off of Peach. Yeah, he's pretty much the only guy who who changes his um pat pattern in second fight in the sense that we fi we fight him in a different style. Well, we still jump on his head. Yay, Star Coins in World One. We still jump on his head, but how we get there is somewhat different. And I think that's it. That's it from me. I'm gonna stop playing now. Well, World Two though, and the coupling for this world is boy with his glasses of awesomeness. Yeah. Yes, I'll save. Um, I'm going to stop playing now. I've had fun for now. I've had fun, but next time, I'll hopefully get those damn cables, be able to listen to the audio, uh, be able to look at a much bigger screen, and next time, World 2. So, uh, yes. See you, see you then.